This morning we're starting work on the Paul Transit Connect. I'm going to be getting rid of some of the rust, so to use my electric sander I have made a little ele electrical setup. I've connected some jump leads to the battery, down to my pure sine wave inverter and to some plugs down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my electric sander, connect everything up and just start hammering at the side of the vehicle. Let's fast forward a little bit, shall we? I have sanded and chiseled down all the sills on both sides. Now, I've discovered there was a lot more rust than initially anticipated. It's not the end of the world because I'm going to seal up the rust in a second. I've been dealing with uh, these bits and it's just, it's not the best. The rust on this fan just isn't the best. So I've got a lot of work to do. On the passenger side, I'm down to the bare metal majority. As you can see, there are some rust patches and there's a bit of rust going into here and there, as you can see. Not the best, but it is what it is. It could have been a lot worse for a 2007 rust bucket, to be honest with you, but hey ho, it's not the end of the world. I've picked up some off-brand Hammerite hammer, uh, rust stop. I'm going to be dabbing this with a paintbrush on all of the rust on the van. Oh, it's leaking, my bad, because I started twisting it open. Uh, so, I'm going to be putting that on all the rust, and then I'm going to be spray painting it with an anti-rust, and then another coat of something else on top. side completely covered up and I have just finished the other side so let's hope that all seals in shall we hello it is now the next day and the seals look great with all the anti-rust on there although I did actually forget to do the door I should have done the door because I want to sand that down make sure there's no anti-rust spots so I'm going to do the door on both sides now just in case there's any rust that I can't see once that's done, I've actually started on the rear bumper back here. I don't know if I want to show you because it's not part of this video. I'll show you a little bit. It's, it, it's, a, bit, it's a bit diabolical down there. So I'm going to sand the doors down first, put any bits of anti-rust that need to go on it. Whilst that is curing, I'm going to be working on the bumper, so I'm still doing things on the van. Um, and then I'm going to be sanding down all the anti-rust bit that I put on as it says on the instructions and I've got some anti-rust spray paint to spray paint over it as the next step in sorting out the sills but overall on both sides let's just go to the other side they look pretty good actually but I'm still gonna bring the sills all the way up because I want to and it'll look better uh, I need to sand this door as well. both doors actually need to sand both doors on this side as well This bumper was rusted through and now it looks absolutely lovely. It's time to now start on the sides. I'm going to sand down all the anti-rust paint and then spray paint it over. I've been using 60 and 80 grit to get everything down, appear the rust, get rid of the paint, things like that. I'm now moving to the 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to chuck this on the sander and give it hopefully a nice smooth finish ready for painting.
One reason why I bought this van was for the roof rack. Well, I've decided to sell the roof rack. It was actually listed online yesterday and someone's picking up today for £150, so go figure, could do with the money. So whilst I wait half an hour for them to turn it up, I'm going to start dyeing the plastic trim on the van. I know it's not really the sills, but I thought you guys might be interested. I've got the heat gun out and I've just done an extension lead all the way to my flat because my inverter's not powerful enough. So we're gonna do a heat gun and just hopefully change the color from gray to black. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's been raining. In fact, it's still spitting right now. I left a sheet out and that is absolutely soaked. My bad. Anyways, right, this morning, cause I got work today, so I don't have long today, we've got some underbody seal. Now, I had a look at lots of different uh, products to use for chip resistance and I came across this one. I chose this one, camera's a bit close, do apologize. I, I came across this one in Halfords. I looked at lots of products, I chose this one. Yes, it's four and a half kilos, I don't need this much but at the moment I've got four vehicles, so I'm going to use this on my personal vehicle as well, so that is very useful to have. And then I just went to B&M and I picked up a little Harris set. So I'm just gonna use the sponge paintbrush. I did initially plan to um, spray paint it on, but honestly, rolling it is perfectly fine. Just need to get it done this morning. I don't have a lot of time, so we're against the clock here. But I literally only got this set for that I don't need anything else. I'm not going to be using these at all, just that and then I've got that. I can just pour it straight into the tray. We can just get rolling immediately. Look at that. Careful, careful. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. I thought that was going to be a lot thinner than it is. Alright. It is 18 minutes past nine in the evening. I just finished off spraying some of that hammer spray that I originally had just on the inside of the door, which I'll show you shortly. I've taken the tape off, which was around the arches, and I've noticed I've done a little bit of overspray. It's not the end of the world. I don't really care, but I took it off just so I could heat gun just now the extra bits. And I thought you guys might want the satisfying moment, even though I know there's a bit of overspray on some bits and that, you might want the satisfying moment of me taking the tape away. So, let's see. Look at that. Oh yeah. And then of course I've done inside the door frames here. I sprayed them around here too because I did anti-rust on here. She I missed a tiny bit, so I'll spray that in a second. And then of course it goes from here inside. As you can see, there's a bit of overspray, but that doesn't really bother me. Either way, it looks really good, I think. I thought it would be a wise idea to spray paint the handles black. See, the heat gun wouldn't work on them. So I thought, hey, what if I just changed all the colors to black and well, it's gone all right, except some of the paint has ran, gone on the side of the van, not the end of the world because I've already got some overrun from the seals. But talking of the seals, because this is what this video is about. Just look at those. Oh, oh, look at that. I think I did a blinding job to be honest with you. It's got a nice texture on it as well from the underbody seal. So that's the chip repellent. And then it's got the anti-rust spray and it's got the 
rust converter as well. So these are completely sealed all around the side of the van, all down here. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very happy with that. It's 10 to 10 now, so without further ado, the question is, is what do you think of the van? Let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to know. The sills are absolutely beautiful. This video was dedicated to the sills, though I didn't just do that, did I? No, I did the handles. I heated up all the plastics to make them look nicer. I did up the bumper as well, did the plastic on the bumper as well, and put underbody seal on the bumper, just making it extra protection, really. It just looks absolutely amazing now. Handles, not 100% on, might sand them down, might repaint them, but honestly, the rest of the van is absolutely getting there. It's getting there, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's for my business. I want it to look good on the roads, and so far, so good. So I'm pretty chuffed with it, although the heat did pop this section out. That's the only thing, so just trying to get that back in. I've tried like 10 times, but apart from that, the sills just... Yeah, I've got a bit of overspray on some bits, sure, but to be honest with you, I think I did a pretty good job. I think they look really good. You know, I'm really happy with them. They go all the way under as well. So yeah, can't really complain to be honest with you. I'm really happy. Who, who can complain about this? Okay, sure, there's a couple of drip marks. So what? You're not seeing that on the inside, but the rest of it. Oh, well done, me. Just well done. Oh, make some marks from my hands. But just, just wow, you know? I right, well done, me. And you know, after a good wash of the van and everything, this is just gonna look beautiful. So what's this van gonna be useful? Well, it's for my business. I'm a local handyman and I do have a load of tools, but they're in my car because I bought this van a week ago, but I haven't got to use it yet because I've just been working on it and making sure it looks great for road condition and need to get some stickers of the business on here. My dad made a logo, so that's gonna go on the van as well. But overall, yeah, I'm really enjoying the van and I might spray paint it as well because there's a couple of chips here and there. So when I've got time, obviously I'm actually pretty busy right now. I'm booked up, booked up at the moment. But when I've got time, I might sand all the white down and then probably just paint it white again, to be honest with you, because that will work. White works. Why change it? Um, of course, an anti-rust spray paint. I want this to be a good van because when the day comes that I will sell this van in the future, because you don't keep vehicles forever, uh, I want to be able to get top dollar for it basically. But yeah, um, I did do a spray job on the wheels as well. Hate it, hate it completely. I didn't mask anything off, I just rushed it. Don't like the spray job. So I will probably put some caps on there. And um, what else? Oh yeah, I got a flat tire, is what it is. <laughs> So I just, yeah, it's, 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 it's getting late now. It's gone 10. So adios, my miss amigos. I shall see you guys all in the next video, which will be up really soon. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed the sills. Bye-bye. The end.